welcome students welcome again to your online social science class being logical with tarishrima today we are going to discuss the topic from your history portion from your history chapter french revolution i have already give you some videos and some lessons from this chapter i hope you have already gone through those materials if not then i will advise you then uh, first go through those videos and the uh, material that i provided before watching this video because those are uh, we will discuss some incident that you have uh, that i have already discussed in my previous videos and those are very much interrelated if you have any confusion regarding those portion then you might have problem to understand it okay our today's today's uh, topic is outbreak of french revolution and the time span that we will be uh, discussing in this video is 1789 to 1791 okay okay so let's begin as we all know in the um, uh, introduction of the french revolution i already told you that in that time in the 18th century france going through an economic turbulence he uh, france going through a uh, huge financial crisis and because of that they that they, they will be having an empty treasure empty royal treasure to get back the money the france to get back the money the only option that the france government had left is to increase the taxes okay and the everything and the all the problem was started actually with the increasing of the taxes so what uh, that time the king of the france louis 16 decided to increase the taxes okay and there is a system in the france in the system in the old regime old regime that term you will find in the pdf material which i have provided in my uh, previous uh, study material okay in the old regime there was a concept that the france or the monarch uh, in the france monarch cannot increase the tax by his own de decision he have to decide that he have to uh, make a discussion whether the tax should be increased or not in the um, in the estate general okay a state general means a state general is actually a political body a political body where three state three state yeah, we have discussed about uh, the social structure in the france that france are having three state first state second state and third state you also have you also got the information in the video of the um, social structure of the french uh, french society okay you will find uh, the information regarding different uh, state uh, function in that video okay so uh, big, uh, france having three state three social state and the um, state general is a comp is a comprising of that is a political body state general is a political body where the three state the people or the representative of the three uh, state are come together okay so the louis 16 have no option that he have to call a meeting you have to call the meeting in the estate general to discuss about the proposal of increasing taxes that uh, on the 17 in 1789 5 may louis 16 called the assembly meeting in estate general okay to uh, propose or uh, uh, to propose uh, to pass the proposal of new taxes okay the last time that meeting was held in 1614 in the year 1614 and the place where this estate general meeting took place in versailles clear okay now definitely three, uh, the representative of three states are come together in the estate general meeting the representative of first state and third states having 300 members each that means in total they are having 600 members and alone in the third the third state having 600 representative okay now they all come together now uh, the important part here the members of the third state are now the prosperous and educated people why we already know that the growing uh, we already learn in the growing of the middle class in the uh, french society that the people who are belong from the third state are now become more educated because of the education system that they are going to, uh, that they have uh, provided and they are most prosperous and most uh, economically they are more money more economically stable now because of the business because of the trade that the france having that time 
Okay, so this 600 representative is more educated and prosperous if we compare to previous one, right? And what was the system of that time is, okay, I'll come to the voting system later. In the state general, three group of people are not get the permission to enter. The three group peoples are peasants, artisans and women. These three section of the people are not allowed to enter in the assembly. Not an, uh, allowed to enter in the state general. Clear? Okay. Now, in this situation, the another problem arises. The problem is regarding the voting system. In the France, that time, voting system was there, but it is not the usual voting system that we are used to in nowadays. That time, the voting system is done according to the estate. That means every estate have one vote and together they are making decision and deliver it to the king. That means first estate, first estate, the people of 300, the members of 300 give their one vote. Second estate, with the consult of the 300 people in their money, uh, among, uh, they give another vote. And third estate give also another vote. So in total, they are having three votes. And whatever decision they have to pass, if money have to money, if it's in favor two one three zero, the decision was taken in is like this, clear. But the uh, interesting fact is this: whatever happen, actually the votes of the third estate never count. Because whatever decision the first estate and second estate are actually taken together. So they already give two votes. So whether the third estate accept this proposal or not, it doesn't matter at all. So before that, in the year in 1614 and before when the estate general meeting was held, this concept was not clear to the representative of the third estate because they are not more educated. They are not the very educated people. But now in the year of 1789, the people are educated and prosperous. They understand the trick of the monarch, the trick of the monarch very properly and they uh, protest against it. Clear? So, what was the demand of the third estate people is that the voting right should be one person to one vote. That means the voting, uh, the count of the voting should be 900. Sorry, should be 1200. 300 people from the first estate, 300 people from the second estate and 600 people from the third estate. Okay, so uh, in terms of three votes, there should, there should be 1200 votes. It is a demand of the third estate. And the concept of this kind of voting they are getting from the... Uh, it was first proposed by the philosopher Rousseau in his book, Social Contract. Clear? So first... Uh, Louis XVI called up a meeting, uh, called up a meeting in State General, where the total 1,200 people are uh, came together to pass the proposal of increasing of taxes, where the vote, uh, third state uh, proposed their objection regarding the voting system and the concept of the voting system, which they are uh, many wants to implement, one vote equal to one person is definitely they are taking this idea from the. Uh, book of the philosopher Rousseau, the social contract. Clear? Definitely this was uh, rejected by the king. The king was not uh, attend them properly. So what they do? They leave the estate general. They leave the, uh, they leave the uh, estate general and they uh, gather in a uh, place, in a tennis court in Versailles. The representative of the third estate, they uh, came together on 20th June 1789 in the tennis court of Versailles. This incident referred in the history is uh, oath of tennis court. Okay, they come together and what are the thing that they have done? The most important thing of the French Revolution's uh, um, French Revolution history, they first drafted the constitution. They are able to draft the first constitution of the France, but it's the drafting form, okay? And this, uh, the 
and they declared this assem the people who assembled there they declared that crowd as national assembly they declared the crowd of the third state people as uh, national assembly and they drafted the constitution clear now this group of people this a uh, huge group of people are led by mainly two people okay two very much influential people of that time one is mirabu one is is uh, he belongs from the second estate he is a noble person and uh, his family and his beyond belong from the royal family but he was against of the feudal privileges which is pro I mean, which they are getting by the birth from I mean, by which they are used to get by birth from the government clear and second person the name is abyssias he is a priest he is a person he is a uh, he belong from the first estate okay and he is very influential he was against uh the concept he is against the uh property that are the hair and the church where used to have he is actually against of it and his uh, famous book is uh, not a book he actually uh, distributed the pamphlets he distributed the his ideas through the pamphlets and the name of the pamphlet is what is in the third estate okay and the and this incident happened the uh, tennis court oath was happened in 20th june in 187 uh, 1789 clear so what was happened between uh, 20th june and 14th july in between we are already know because of the uh, financial crisis france are facing a price hike the essential daily to day commodities uh, the price of the commodities are growing high at the same time there is a scarcity of the food items there is scarcity of the food items like breads and other uh, essential things so people are always uh, people are already angry about it right to uh, towards his government at the same time uh, at the, because of that the angry people that attacked the prison or the fort of the pastor we already discuss about the incident in 14 july what why it was happen what what it is in i probably in my second video regarding french revolution you can watch it okay uh, it will help you to make your concept clear okay so in between the people are attacked bastille in 14 july 1789 Clear. At the same time, there are other rumors also that the manors, manors are those who are actually referred as the feudal lords, having lots of uh, lands along with their houses. The manors are started destroying the crop fields. Why is it? Because the crops are belongs to the farmers and the peasants. To uh, to give them harm, they are started destroying the crop fields. But it is a rumor. It's not an actually happen. so that is why the peasants are started attacking the castle where the manors where the uh, feudal lords are used to live the place the uh, house of the uh, feudal lords are uh, named as chatax okay so they are started attacking those places so in this turmoil situation in this uh, a social uh, is actually social uh, all the many social non many is a social nonsense kind of situation right the society was uh, to entire society was against the uh, government and actually government has is no control over its people so in that condition louis 16 was decided okay now it's time to accept the people's uh, people's uh, voice accept the people's voice whatever they have um, demands to fulfill their demands and all that so the what after the situation what louis 16 has done he in the year uh, for 4th uh, uh, of august 1789 louis 16 finally recognized the national assembly the national assembly which was created in Versailles in the twenty of June in seventeen eighty nine, the group of the people of the third state who declared themselves a national assembly finally they got the recognition from the Louis sixteen in the 
year 1789, 4th of August. Clear? And Louis XVI also accept the draft which was made in the National Assembly in the tennis court. The draft of the constitution, the draft of the new French constitution. That it was accepted by the Louis XVI. And France started becoming a constitutional monarchy. From a monarchy to a constitutional monarchy, the journey, the journey from the entire monarchy to a constitutional monarchy in France was started. Clear? Okay. So uh, the topic, the, the incidents regarding the outbreak of the French Revolution is actually this is it. Out, uh, after one by one this incident, the entire thing was happened and France become a constitutional monarchy. That's it. So I have told you about the incident that led to the outbreak of the French revolutions, right? So let's uh, have a quick recap of what we have learned in today's video lesson. Okay. So in 1770 to 1780, France facing a uh, uh, crucial economic crisis, economic decline, French government in a, fin in a deep financial crisis. In 1788 1789, the thing that the France has experienced is bad har harvest, high price, and food riots. In 1789, May 5th, Louis XVI, the uh, king of the France, announced a general meeting in the State General to uh, de uh, uh, demand the reforms, okay, the reforms regarding tax, price, uh, tax hike, taking, uh, tax increases. In 1789, 20th June, in the uh, place of a tennis court in Versailles, they, the people of the representative of the third estate draft the first constitution of the France and declare the crowd of the third estate as national assembly. In 1789, 14 July, the angry mob or the angry people attacked the prison or the fortress pastel. In, eight, in 1789, 4th of August, Louis XVI finally accept the constitution, the draft of the constitution and declared France as a constitutional monarchy. At the same time, he also recognized the National Assembly which was made in 20th July, July sorry, 20th June in Versailles as a state assembly, as a national assembly. Okay. At the same time, he also curbed down or dismissed the privileges that was uh, used that the uh, feudal lords are having from the estate and confiscated all the lands of the church. Okay. So this is it. This is it for the today's video. I uh, hope this video lesson is helpful to you and understand the, and help you to understand the chapter in a better way. So my dear students, based on today's video lesson, I'll give you some questions. Okay, you need to answer, uh, write down the answer of these questions in your history copy book. Okay, here are some questions. First question, in which year last uh, estate's general meeting was held before 1789? Okay, second question, name the king of France during French Revolution. Question number three. What are the meaning of manor and chattix? Question number four. What happened on the day 20th June 1789? And last question. Describe the different social estates of France during 18th century. Okay. This is it for today's video, uh, today's video lesson. I hope this video is helpful to you and help you to understand the chapter in a better way. As I always remind in my every video that do read your text properly. Okay, it's a most uh, resourceful thing that we have now. Okay, and, uh, and another thing, do follow the school website regularly for your regular updates. And if you have any query, any doubts, do write me in the comment section of this video. Okay. Thank you. And have a wonderful day ahead. Spend your quality time with your parents, with your elders uh, in the home. Be happy and stay positive.